passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so and in, so where I can find myself. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to a new video and welcome to a bunch of different things. We're gonna first start out in my office with this DIY project I have been talking about doing for forever. It looks so good almost done so i'll show you that over a couple days and then we're gonna do a bunch of organization projects around the house and a bunch of a bunch of things i cannot talk today um that i've been meaning to do so hope you enjoy thanks for hanging with me and let's get started All right, so I wanted to give you guys a really quick rundown of how we did this. I have several clips from throughout the process. First, I just painted the walls white. It did take a couple of coats, and yes, I am going to do the ceiling. I just have not gotten that far quite yet. We bought this lattice at Home Depot, and at first I was going to buy it from Lowe's, but then it ended up being cheaper at Home Depot, so I just recommend that you check both and look around to see where you can get the best deal for anyone who wants to do this too. So this is a four by eight sheet, and it's plastic. guys. It looks so much better on the walls than I was expecting. It does not look plasticky at all. Um, and we used a nail gun, so we didn't use any glue. The only thing we used was a nail gun. We're gonna frame it out um, and do all of that. But I talk about that showing you the after. So I'm just gonna give you a few more seconds to see the process so you can see the transformation and the before and after. I've been talking about doing this project for so long and I'm just thrilled with how it's turning out. So it's the next day. I just got home from the grocery store. I'm gonna unwrap um, and show you everything I got. And Chad just ran to Home Depot. He is getting a little more lattice, so I need to figure out the light for you just a sec. All right, so we have this wall done, this wall. This wall's like half done. And We're gonna frame this out, so I don't know if you could tell, but we are gonna do, well, we did like five or six inches all the way around and then we're gonna frame it out. I still need to paint the ceiling white um, and this just was honestly the easiest way for us to do it so that it looks as good as it can look, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So we're not gonna do like a ton of molding. Um, it essentially is so much easier for us to only frame it out around the edges than for us to like frame three, four, five, six pieces on every wall, it just, won't take as long this way, but it still is gonna pack a punch and look really nice. So I'm very, very excited. A lot of progress in here for sure. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a little bird's eye view because there is so much here. I basically just got a bunch of staples, frozen broccoli to put in the freezer. I love steam bags. Forrest loves those little pizzas, especially for school lunches. I can pack those. Some orange juice, eggs. I always buy whole grain pasta. Um, I have some taco seasonings. I do tacos like once a week at least around here. Some vegetables. By the way, I went to Walmart for groceries for the first time in a while. And I just wanted to see if I could save some money. It is so much more affordable there. I mean, I know we all know that, but like this is organic and it was less than $3. And then I always buy this nice orange juice for Forrest because he drinks so much orange juice. And it was like at least $2 cheaper at Walmart. So, I mean, it adds up, you know? I love this yogurt. I like to put, um, it's basically like a mixed nuts with some cranberries in it. Another Dawn Power Wash. This is a newer brand. I haven't ever tried anything from them, but I've heard some really good things. So I just got like a multi-surface spray. I was out of these Flushing Bubbles refillables. You guys know I love those. Forest loves applesauce his fruit cups, his bacon, sparkling waters. I do need to clean out the fridge. That's like the next big thing I want to do. So let's do that and make it look really nice. Yeah. 
You know the drill, let's pull everything out, wipe it down before we start adding anything back in the fridge. And I really love this spray, you guys. It has like a very light citrus scent. I love citrus scent products, so totally recommend. I'm just giving you a little before. Plenty of crumbs in here. I do end up using the hand vacuum in here. I've never seen someone use a vacuum in a fridge, but I just figured why not? It's so much easier to pick up all the crumbs that way. And seeing refrigerator organization is just one of my favorite things. It's so satisfying. So we're going to get through this pretty quickly. And then there are two closets upstairs I have been meaning to organize and we're finally going to get to it in this video. So I hope you guys are in an organization mood today. And we are getting real close to the very satisfying after just putting that drawer back. I always tell you guys, since we moved here, I keep less food in the house and it honestly makes my life so much easier. I know what we have. I can think ahead, everything I'm going to need for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I know I have it. I know where it is. And it's just so satisfying to see this. So now let's get into another office update. And welcome to day three of this project. So we have all of the walls done. I also sort of set things up in here. I still need to bring my mirror and I'll probably wait on that, but I put the table back over here and then I put my computer desk back over here so I could plug it in. I was just working on some editing stuff this morning and I just needed somewhat of a space for now until it's like officially finished, but we have all of these slats. So we're gonna do these thin slats. I don't know if you can see, but it's just like flat. Um, that's gonna go on all of the seams. So these are four feet by eight feet. So this one is perfectly centered. There's gonna be a slot there, a slot there, and then obviously um, framing it out. We do have some of the framing. I don't know if this is exactly what we're gonna use. I know Chad, um, he's looking at a couple of different options. So it might just be thinner, like the picture style that we did in my last bedroom, but we're gonna figure that out next. Um, I'm just so happy that all the lattice is up and I'm obsessed with what it looks like. Like honestly, it looks even better than I was expecting it to, so. And now we're gonna get into some closet organization projects and just see how many we can get done. I'd like to do at least two and I have never organized these the entire time that we've lived in this house. So you know it's time. Let's pull everything out, figure out a system and make it look really cute. And as you can see, this closet is going to house our extra bath towels, sheets, bedding, all of our linens essentially. I did pull out some of the cleaning towels because the other closet we're doing after this is going to have all of the cleaning towels and cleaning products in it. I figured I would keep those together. And I have these beautiful baskets. These are from Amazon. I have them on my Amazon page. And I originally had these in the pantry, but I switched those out for some from Dollar Tree. So these have just been sitting around and I'm like, okay, these are so nice. Like I need to use them. I can't just store them. So I'm going to use those for our wash washcloths, forest washcloths, um, our hand towels, and I think it fits perfectly in here. Cause I 
Now, surprisingly, one area that I don't like having a lot of stuff in is bedding. I love bedding, but it's such a pain to fold and store that I really don't like a lot of extra. So I have two extra sheet sets for my bed, which is plenty because you guys know I typically take it off, then wash it and put it back on in the same day. And then on the very top shelf is all of the queen size for the guest bed. We already went over the towels and the white baskets and in the gray. Um, one of those gray is going to be forest stuff. So his extra sheets his little towels for the pool and then on the left is gonna be a miscellaneous if you have room whenever you organize anything I always recommend a miscellaneous bin And here is the after, it looks so good. Guys, I swear the projects I put off the longest are like the shortest. This took me five or ten minutes at most and I'm so happy it's finally done. So this one is just begging for some organization. I have all of those cleaning towels I took out of the other closet that I want to put in here because all of my cleaning supplies is in here. So it just makes sense to have the towels and the products in the same place. And then we're gonna have um, like handy stuff, hardware stuff. So let's just fix this as much as we can. While we're getting some organization underway, I just want to say I hope this video motivates you guys to tackle at least a couple things you have been avoiding doing because I am so happy I did this and got it done, you guys. It honestly is such a stress reliever. Yes, I still have laundry to fold and all of those other everyday tasks to take care of, but just opening this and knowing I have a cleaning project and I can actually find everything and see it and I'm not opening the door to a mess feels amazing. We are going to use a lot of acrylic organizers in here, and all of these are from the Home Edit Collection from Walmart. I do talk about those acrylic organizers a lot just because they're such nice quality, and I think they're the most affordable acrylic organizers I've been able to find, especially so accessibly being at Walmart. You can buy them online or in store, and they have them for like all throughout your house, for your closet, for your bathroom drawers. They sell these in sets, so it's not available individually, but you can make them work in countless areas throughout your home. And especially for things like this, smaller items for tools and screws and bolts and household products, I really like the acrylic because it's just so much easier being able to see everything without having to look inside a basket.
One thing I wasn't planning on doing is using an acrylic organizer for those microfiber towels, but they always fall over and it just looks so messy and they become unfolded. So this is going to keep them folded, keep them contained. I'm adding Swiffer dusting wipes in the other one. Forrest was playing with these and they were such a mess. So I figured this is gonna be a lot easier for me to actually grab one instead of a crunched up handful. Now how much better does this look? I'm so happy to like open this and grab what I need and not see a total mess. I have some topiary, is that what those are called? Some topiary jars um, at the bottom, extra toilet paper. I did put paint right here for now. I need to ask Chad if he wants to get rid of those or hold on to them or put them in the garage. Um, I have all of the microfibers I use upstairs right here. The striped ones I keep downstairs under the kitchen sink. Swiffer duster wipes. I have the vinegar, scrubby brushes, a bunch of products right here. Um, some other products in a container. And then I put all of the screwdrivers scissors all those kind of things in the same basket a bunch of like hardware accessories and painting accessories are in that one and then something else I do in here with this steam mop I just like rest it on a shelf and it just hangs like that that way I'm able to shut the door and it's really the only place I can keep it upstairs so only a couple minutes probably like 15 minutes realistically but it looks a million times better and that is going to be everything for today, guys. Thank you so much for spending the time with me. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see in my next video. I am always taking video ideas. And I will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye!